I'm from Chicago. I'm from San Francisco Bay Area. I'm from Roseville, California. I'm from Ukraine. We're from Cornwall in the UK. And I'm from Halifax, Massachusetts. I'm from Bemidji, Minnesota. This is my very first time at Indian Bike Week. This is my second bike week. This is my second year in attendance. Uh, this is our first bike week. And this is my first Indian Bike Week. You know, I do a lot of these events, um, bike events, or uh, throughout the country, and uh, this is my favorite one, bro. It's just uh, the whole vibe here, man. I haven't met one asshole yet. Man, everybody here is is really uh, friendly and, and cool. It's uh, it's family friendly. It's a great place actually to bring the family, and they get to see a lot of these Indians. This sounds really family oriented. It's quiet, peaceful. Everybody feels like family just total different atmosphere. You just feel like you're so welcomed when you come. I can start up a conversation with anybody within seconds. Everybody here has that same kind of mentality. You know, they came here to have more of a laid back event and then just meet people and hang out and ride their Indians and, and this is it. I didn't know anyone before I came here. I have met so many great people, all Lovers of motorcycle riding, lovers of Indian motorcycles, so it's great. It has been more than I would have ever imagined. I met such good people. It's kind of a, a reminder that the world's still a really good place and has a lot of good people. And I got to ride with them, got to eat with them, got to talk with them. The human connection has been overwhelmingly beautiful. Hanging with everybody is just so so relaxed you know there's just no expectations you just get a just got to fit in fit in with everybody here and we're all here for the same reason to ride you go to sturgis it, you're not a part of anything you know you go and you tolerate this enormous event here you're like family you know everybody gets along and you're, you can't wait to see all your new friends that you made last year and you never make those kind of connections at a bigger event of, of all the motorcycle events that i've been to this is probably the coolest one i've been to dude it's love like since we first got here it's just um it's a purity i've met so many cool people just in the short time that we've been here and just a real kindred spirit energy i think you walk in with a plate of food and people are like hey come on over here sit with us everybody's super welcoming and easy to make friends it's, it's a great time there's a great group of people here they are definitely indian enthusiasts um, everybody is friendly and welcoming and seems to be having a good time. The people are f***ing amazing. It's really cool and the bikes are top shelf. If someone asked if they should come to Indian Bike Week, I would tell them absolutely, without a doubt, get on your bike and come. It's gonna be worth your time. And I guarantee you, there's gonna be something that you're gonna learn from this and there's something you're gonna take back and you're gonna treasure the rest of your life. I, I would say if you own an Indian and you're interested in trying a bike week but a little scared, this is the one to come to. It's not like any convention I've ever been at in my lifetime. My dad used to always come to Indian Bike Week. Uh, it was one of his favorite events of the year. He would come home kind of like just floating. He would always say, Kelly, you have to come to Indian Bike Week. And I always sort of meant to, but um, didn't get a chance to actually come to this event with him. So in 2019, when my dad passed, on Facebook, I just kind of posted it. And Art said, I want to be at the services. And I was like, I'll keep you posted. But um, what's your Dave's story? And he said, your dad was the first person to give my son a ride in a sidecar, which is totally my dad. He, um, he just, he lived to put people in the sidecar. Hey you, hey you, 
Your first motorcycle ride ever! I can hear them laughing, and sometimes if somebody ahead of me is smoking, I can smell them. The scenery is beautiful. It's all green, beautiful, open space. The sky, the trees. And the no congestion, with the no traffic, the woods, the, the lake, breathtaking scenery. Like yesterday was absolutely thrilling being with over 100 riders in front of you, behind you. You just felt this herd. When you're riding with Indians in a group like this, I mean, everybody did pretty good etiquette. If you were in the back, you weren't doing 80 miles to catch the front. It was, it was just to me smart riding. I haven't been in a pack like that in years. That it was miles long. Like you get to the top, I'm looking at my rear view like, whoa. I did a live feed at 90 for like 20 minutes, me and my friends, and the people were just like, this is incredible. I'm new and these rides have been very good for me. The rides are not gonna leave you behind or anything. You're gonna keep up with everybody else. I'm always a little skeptical about events in general, and I'm not a, a person who is always very comfortable riding in a big group, but it's been fantastic. I mean, everybody's been just really super friendly, helpful, and it's awesome. The military appreciation ride, I think, is, is a really special time to, to honor those who have made a lot of sacrifices to this country and, and have served. It's, I'm a third generation Marine, so I actually was really surprised at the number of veterans that were here. Myself as a vet, it's a unity. It doesn't matter who you are, where you're from, what nationality, origin, it's a community. It was a Patriot ride. It was an awesome ride. One of the best I've been out in a long time. I worry sometimes that in this day and age we lose sight and the appreciation and respect for our military and those who serve, those who are serving, those who are deployed. The fact that it's it's completely embraced here is it's great. Well, the backpack's for kids important. I mean, if you can get that opportunity to give back just a little bit to other people and help kids, you know, get inspired to read and learn and, and, and provide the tools to do it, I mean, that's pretty awesome. I mean, you don't get a lot of chances to do those kind of things. It just shows that it, it wasn't a self-seeking rally. It, there was something to uh, people to have to pay forward. And the fact that there was community support and the motorcycle community to do that says volumes about them. Boone called me, Emilio called me, and then Boone's homeboy. They do this for kids, and they get backpacks, and these kids don't have nothing. They got like one sheet of paper, and like, that's what they're doing this for. I'm like, count me in. Yeah, you know, raising funds to help, you know, underprivileged kids have access to school supplies. It's just, it's, that's an important thing. So, you know, that's why we do these kind of causes, it's because it's always for a good reason. So. It's crazy that Indian doesn't sponsor our Indian Bike Week. I don't think there's any other industry that does this. I don't think Harley does a Harley's only type group. So it would be kind of cool to have Indian support it. And if they want it to be bigger than Harley, then they have to do big things, right? You know, they need to get involved because I mean, this is their clientele here, man. There's nobody doing an Indian event like this anywhere that matches this event. Why, why wouldn't they be here? To be connected to not just 
the community, but to be connected to the charities and all things like that, I don't really know why they're not involved. You know, there's nothing going on here that you have to be shy about. I see nothing but Indians out here, bro. You know what I mean? Uh, that's, uh, that's odd. I thought that's what it, what it was. I mean, they could help out so much that they did. Invest in the people that invest in you. I've gone to an Indian sponsor event for before, and you're just a registration number. And here, it's different. When Polaris took over Indian, you needed people to believe in you. And so don't forget where you came from. You're missing out, you're supposed to be here. We love you guys. I just think anything that's promoting their brand as much as the people that ride them and, and love Indian motorcycles, I don't know, why wouldn't you want that? <laughs> so. You have all these folks that love the product, are huge advocates for your product, why wouldn't you want to be a little bit more involved? Like any corporation, they should be way more involved with purposes of education anyway, and good causes. And the fact that there's so many native people here also riding in your bikes, that's also another bonus. I would just uh, ask them, where is the Native American representation? I am very excited. I'm excited to see everybody here on Saturday so we can get to see all the bikes and start counting people. It doesn't matter if we break the world record or not. Well, we'll do it next year. So it'll still be a great thing. We'll okay. still show the world. Well, it doesn't matter if we break the record or not. Uh, we're here for the people. Uh, Friends, new friends, I mean, it's just a big get together. I don't care if we break the record. It is, it's all about the fun that we're having here, okay? It's a bunch of people, we all got the same compassion, the same thing driving us. And if we don't break a record, we don't break a record, but we have fun doing it. We started planning this in 2021. We had, I believe, 32 or 33 women solo riders. And we said, why don't we plan to do two world records, one which would be co-ed, and the other one that would just be female riders. The day came to do the world record. We knew we weren't gonna have enough men to do the co-ed run. We lined up all the females. Everybody was rearing to go. We had police officers there to do the count. We did the first run and we realized there weren't enough women. And we're like, what was the count? And the count, we had different numbers of counts. There was 98, 99, we needed 100. All the guys actually jumped in and were like, here, take my bike. It was quite a sight to see that everybody was scrambling to, to get it to happen. And so then the women did the second run. And then the police officers told me that they counted 101. And that's when I knew that we actually had set a world record. I had a friend named Alan Soderland that unfortunately passed away a few years ago. And he was a former Vietnam vet. One thing that he always mentioned to me was legacy and what that meant. One day when I went to Guatemala and I went to this kite festival, that had these giant kites that were eight stories to 12 stories high. While I was there, I saw this kite and there was a saying in Spanish and the saying in Spanish said, do not live your life so that it is noticed. Instead, live your life so that when you are no longer there, your absence is felt. That's when it hit me what Al was talking about all this time about legacy. 
your legacy is what you leave behind and who you're gonna leave it behind for. And I have two little boys that are my world and now I know what Al meant when he talked about the legacy that he would leave behind for his children. That's when I really wanted to make sure that I've cemented my own legacy and hopefully everybody that comes to Indian Bike Week cements their legacy along with this. Indian Bike Week has been a blessing for me to meet people from all over the world. The camaraderie that this event brings to everybody and everybody just wants to have something that they feel passionately about. And Indian Bike Week has proven itself to be a staple in the Indian motorcycle community. Everything just to feel something. 